The following is an overview of the product architecture for the Spark S7 servers that offer breakthrough secure infrastructure for scale-out and cloud. Spark S7 Servers Overview Please take a moment to compare the technical specs of the Spark S7 product line. Note that the Spark S7 II is a one-rack unit that favors compute density with configurations of either one or two processors. At the same time, the Spark S7 IIL is a two-rack unit designed to provide storage flexibility with four different chassis depending on the number of drives and capacity demanded. Both products can be configured with up to one terabyte of memory. Spark S7 Servers Key Characteristics Here is a summary of the primary technical features of the Spark S7 servers. The Spark S7 II and Spark S7 IIL both use the same 8-core Spark S7 processor at 4.27 GHz, with up to 8 hardware threads per core. The Spark S7 processor includes the software in silicon features from the Spark M7 processor. Silicon secure memory is included, as well as one encryption accelerator per core for a total of eight accelerators per processor. Four data analytics accelerators, or DACs, each with four acceleration engines for a total of 16 per processor. The Spark S7 processor differs from the Spark M7 processor by integrating the memory and PCI controller on chip. Industry standard DDR4 memory DIMMs are used in all the system for the highest memory performance, lower power consumption, and industry competitive price per gigabyte. The servers can support SAS hard disk drives or solid state drives, as well as accelerated NVMe flash drives. The servers support PCIe 3.0 expansion slots and use Oracle ILOM for system management. Oracle Solaris 11.3 or later is required for the control domain and Solaris 10 is supported on guest domains. Spark S72 Server Overview Please review the summary of the Spark S72 server features. The system can be factory configured with either one or two processors, not expandable. If the system is initially configured with one processor, another processor cannot be installed afterwards. Half and fully populated memory configurations are supported regardless of the number of processors. This server can be specified with three different 2.5-inch internal storage type options, SAS hard disk drives, SAS solid state disk drives, or NVMe flash solid state disk drives. Mixing the drive types of the system is supported. Additionally, the server does not require an NVMe PCIe switch card to support the NVMe drives. A maximum of four NVMe drives is supported per system. Drive bases that are NVMe enabled do also support SAS. The server includes a single onboard SAS 3HBA card that supports all eight disk drive bases and is connected to a reserved internal PCIe port. Three external PCIe 3.0 slots are available. These ports can connect PCIe cards with eight lanes. Two of those PCIe ports can also physically support by 16 cards. The Spark S72 server can operate with 120 volt or 240 volt of AC power sources. Spark S7-2L Server Overview Please review the summary of the Spark S7-2L server features. The system is always factory configured with two processors, not expandable. Half and fully populated memory configurations are supported. This server can be specified with four different disk, disk drive cages or chassis. The first configuration has eight 2.5-inch drive base that can be SAS, HDDs, or SSDs. Four of them are NVMe enabled and mixing drives is supported. The second configuration has 24 front and two rear 2.5-inch drive base that can be SAS, HDDs, 
or SSDs. Four of them are NVMe enabled and mixing drives is supported. The third configuration has 12 2.5 inch drive bays that are only NVMe enabled. The fourth configuration has 12 3.5 inch drive bays and two 2.5 inch drive bays in the back. Only the 2.5 inch drives can be SAS HDDs or SSDs. The 3.5 inch drives are always HDDs. NVMe is not enabled on this configuration. The server includes a single onboard SAS 3HBA supporting all disk drive bays in all configurations except for the 12 NVMe. This HBA is connected to a reserved internal PCIe port. Six external PCIe 3.0 slots are available. These ports can connect PCIe cards with eight lanes, two of which can also physically support by 16 cards. For the specific 12 NVMe configuration, one internal and two external PCIe slots are used for NVMe PCIe switch cards. Spark S72L requires 240 volts of AC power source. The system does not operate at 120 volts. Spark S72 and Spark S72L server summary. Please take a moment to review the Spark S72 and Spark S72L configuration options. The Spark S72 system is a one rack unit that has only one enclosure selection available in either single or dual processor version. It can have up to 17 terabytes of storage. The Spark S72L is a two rack unit system that is always configured with two processors and has four different enclosure options. The first option is the standard configuration that can have up to 17 terabytes of storage. The second option is the maximum disk drive configuration with up to 39 terabytes of storage. The third option is an all NVMe flash drive configuration with up to 38 terabyte of accelerated storage. The fourth option is the high capacity disk with up to 100 terabytes of storage. Spark S7 Server's new features and technologies. Here are the features and technologies specific to the Spark S7 Server's that will now be reviewed with additional detail in following pages. First, we will review the Spark S7 processor and how it differs from the Spark M7 processor. Then, we will describe the integrated technology on chip, like the memory subsystem, I.O. connectivity, and the software in silicon features. Finally, we will go over the detail of the NVMe technology that is leveraged in most of the Spark S7 servers. Note that more detail on these technologies is available on the external Spark S7 server architecture white paper found on the oracle.com slash Spark website. Spark S7 Processor Overview Like the Spark M7, the Spark S7 processor incorporates software functions on chip. The software in silicon features are silicon secured memory, cryptographic accelerators, and hardware data analytics accelerators or DACs. The processor has 8 Spark cores at 4.27 GHz. There are 8 hardware threads per core for a total of 64 hardware threads per processor. Dynamic threading technology is also available on the Spark S7 processor in order, in order to support critical threads and assign priorities. Up to 8 DDR4 DIMMs per processor. The Spark S7 processor is optimized for scale-out deployments offering a two-way, glueless, symmetric multiprocessing configuration. Spark S7 Processor Design The Spark S7 processor was designed to take advantage of the breakthrough features of the Spark M7 processor and bring them into scale-out architectures. The Spark M7 processor has 32 powerful cores and the software in silicon technology on chip. It externally connects to memory 
through additional memory interfaces and connects to an external PCIe controller like ASIC to communicate with I.O. devices. On the other hand, the Spark S7 processor is designed with a lower core count by having eight of the same cores as the Spark M7 processor as well as the software in silicon technology. The Spark S7 processor is unique in the sense that it incorporates the DDR4 interfaces on the silicon itself and an external PCIe controller that is also integrated on chip. The Spark S7 processor has connectivity links that allow a glueless connection between two processors. The end result is a powerful and integrated processor that is ideal for scale-out deployments and offers the highest per-core efficiency versus competitive systems. Direct Attached Low Latency Memory Since the Spark S7 processor has memory interfaces integrated on the chip, memory DIMMs can be directly connected to the processor. This allows the system to have an extremely high memory bandwidth with very low latency. Additional technology on the processor, like speculative memory reads, are used to further reduce latency. Connectivity optimized for scale-out. The Spark S7 processors incorporate extremely fast connectivity links that allow a glueless connection between two processors. This allow the servers to be ideal for scale-out deployments since most of the scale-out architectures today are built with servers that have, at most, two processors. Each processor also provides its own PCIe controller on chip that allows a very fast connectivity between the processor and two external PCIe switches. Because of the redundancy on PCIe switches in the motherboard, even a system with only one processor can support all the PCIe ports of the server. Case in point, the Spark S7 II will support the same number of PCIe cards regardless of the number of processors that it has. Spark S7 Integrated PCIe 3.0 The Spark S7 processor integrated PCIe 3.0 controller avoids the needs of having external controllers and drastically accelerates the speed of each I.O. operation. The integrated PCIe controller is compliant with Single Root Input Output Virtualization SRIOV, to allow virtual environments to support multiple guests while providing security and isolation. Since there is one PCIe slot per processor, each Spark S7 server will be able to support only one root complex per processor. For situations where more root complexes are required, or for highly virtualized environments, the Spark T7 or M7 servers would be the ideal solution. Present the state of the art. This table illustrates key improvements of the Spark S7 processor capabilities compared to the prior generation Spark T5, as well as the latest Spark M7 processor. Processor core count is reduced to optimize for scale-out deployments. L3 cache per core is preserved when comparing to the highly efficient Spark M7 processor and is 4x increased compared to the Spark T5. Memory bandwidth per core has increased and memory latency is reduced because of the Spark S7 memory interface integration on chip. The Spark S7 has the same I.O. bandwidth as a Spark T5 processor that has twice the number of cores because of the I.O. interface integration on chip. The core processor frequency has increased by 15% versus the Spark T5. The actual bandwidth values may vary depending on the implementation of each server model. Software in Silicon Features here is a brief feature and benefit overview of software in silicon. The silicon secured memory feature of the Spark S7 and M7 processors provides real-time data integrity checking to guard against pointer-related software errors and malware. It replaces very costly software instrumentation with low overhead hardware monitoring. 
Silicon Secure Memory enables applications to identify erroneous or unauthorized memory access, diagnose the cause, and take appropriate recovery actions. The Spark S7 and M7 processors have crypto instructions accelerators integrated directly into each processor core. These accelerators enable high-speed encryption for over a dozen industry standard ciphers, eliminating the performance and cost barriers typically associated with secure computing. The Spark S7 and M7 processor also incorporates hardware units that accelerate specific software functions or primitives. The on-chip data analytics accelerators, or DACs, offload analytics query processing and perform real-time data decompression. The in-memory query acceleration delivers performance that is up to 10 times faster compared to other processors. The inline decompression feature allows up to two times more data to be stored in the same memory footprint without any performance penalty. DACs can be used automatically with Oracle database in memory Java apps or custom-made software by leveraging the, data, the DAX APIs. The software in silicon technology is open and can be leveraged by custom-made applications. Please refer to the software in silicon community website for additional info on how to integrate this technology on your applications. NVM Express or NVMe Bandwidth Breakthrough The Spark S7, T7 or M7 servers have new NVMe flash storage options available. NVMe technology offers 2.6 times bandwidth increase over SAS-based solid-state drives. This slide illustrates how, with NVMe options, the protocol transformation to SAS is eliminated, therefore providing the bandwidth breakthrough using NVMe flash storage options. Spark S7 servers common RAS features. This is a list of key common features that contribute to the RAS capabilities of the Spark S7 server family. It is important to note that these capabilities extend well beyond the basic hardware and processor design, both involve firmware, the service processor, the Oracle Solaris OS, and components that are extensions of Oracle Solaris, such as ZFS. These RAS features are implemented at multiple system levels, system, operating system, processor, and system memory. The RAS features of the Spark S7 servers are highly superior than most scale-out systems. Note, however, that scale-out deployments are designed thinking of server-level redundancy, so not all levels of component redundancy are, and availability features are integrated on the Spark S7 servers. For situations where a higher level of RAS is desired, the Spark T7 and M7 servers are the ideal solution. Spark S7 servers availability features. This slide illustrates and summarizes the availability features built into the Spark S7 servers. Default management architecture in Oracle Solaris enables elements such as Oracle Solaris predictive self-healing to communicate directly with the hardware to help reduce both planned and unplanned downtime. Depending upon the nature of the error, persistent CPU soft errors can be resolved by automatically offlining a thread, a core, or an entire processor. The Spark S7 servers include numerous hot serviceable components such as I.O. devices, fans, and power supplies. For the NVMe configure systems, NVMe drives are supported by two separate PCIe buses for isolation. On the Spark S7 servers, Oracle Solaris ZFS is used for file systems resilience, like RAID storage virtualization technology. Two PCIe root complexes are available on the two processor configuration. The servers offer redundancy of components such as I.O. cards, PCIe switches, power supplies, and fans. All the traditional availability capabilities of the memory are present, like memory error protection, message retry in hardware, and cyclic redundancy check. If persistent recoverable errors occur in the same DRAM, then the system will take action to prevent potential hardware errors 
from causing unplanned downtime. Please note that more details on the RAS features of the Spark S7 servers can be found on the Spark S7 architecture white paper at oracle.com slash spark. Oracle ILOM Spark S7 servers use ILOM version 3.2.6 or later. During normal operation, ILOM behaves and manages the same as other platforms with functions such as Management Interfaces, CLI, BUI, IPMI, SNMP Remote Host Management Inventory and Component Management System Monitoring and Alert Fault Management User Account Management and Power Consumption Management Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center offers a single console to manage multiple server architectures and myriad of operating systems. Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center can manage the components in Spark S7 servers using asset discovery, provision of firmware and operating systems, automated patch management, patch and configuration management, virtualization management, and comprehensive compliance reporting. Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center automates workflow and enforces compliance via policy-based management, all through a single intuitive interface. With Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center, IT staff can implement and enforce data center standardization and best practices, regulatory compliance and security policies while efficiently deploying infrastructure to meet business requirements. The inclusion of Oracle Enterprise Manager Ops Center with every Spark server enables data center administrators to monitor and manage the storage, network, servers, Oracle Solaris, and virtualized environments from a single interface. This improves operational efficiency and lowers operational costs. Virtualization is an essential technology as organizations strive to consolidate disparate workloads onto fewer, more powerful systems while increasing utilization. Spark S7 servers contain built-in virtualization capabilities like logical domains or LDOMs are created using Oracle VM Server for Spark and are used to virtualize a server to host multiple virtual machines, each running its own instance of Oracle Solaris. Oracle VM Server for Solaris is free of charge feature that is included in all Oracle Spark servers. Oracle Solaris zones enable OS virtualization so that a single instance of Oracle Solaris can securely isolate applications from each other and allocate system resources to each zone. This essentially allows creation of multiple virtual machines within a single instance of Oracle Solaris operating system. These virtualization technologies are complementary to each other. Indeed, best practices often include layered virtualization where the technologies are deployed to achieve optimal security, availability, performance, and manageability. Furthermore, Oracle Solaris virtualization technologies are used at no incremental cost. Spark S7 servers are a great platform for most of the virtualization requirements, except for situations where many root complexes for I.O. domains are required or where physical isolation is demanded. For those cases, the Spark M7 processor-based servers are ideal. System Software Requirements For your information, here are the current software versions required on the Spark S7 servers and to utilize software in silicon. This can always be verified by viewing the latest product data sheets from oracle.com slash spark. Note that Oracle Solaris 11.3 is required by server control domain, but Solaris 10, 113, and 11.3 is supported on guest domains. Furthermore, Solaris 8 and 9 zones can be supported as a branded zone in a Solaris 10 guest domain. Note as well that a minimum Java version is required when running Java applications on the Spark S7 servers. Here are some key takeaways on Oracle Spark S7 servers. Oracle Spark S7 servers are the ideal building blocks for scale-out deployments. 
by leveraging the breakthrough technology of the unique 8-core Spark S7 processor with integrated technology and software in silicon. The Spark S7, T7 and M7 servers offer a complete server small to large system portfolio with pressing the state-of-the-art technology. And they offer the most advanced security platform, the first data analytics acceleration or DAX on hardware to support SQL and computing dense processes, the world's fastest and most efficient microprocessors. Finally, Oracle Spark S7 servers extend the world's most advanced systems for cloud and enterprise computing into scale-out form factors, with unique capabilities for information security, core efficiency, and analytics acceleration.